Hello and welcome to Bible Facts and Quizzes. In this Bible Basics quiz, we'll be testing your knowledge of the books of the Bible. Do you know how the books are organised, what the books are about and who wrote them? Let's find out with these 10 multiple choice questions. For each question, you'll have 10 seconds to think before the answer appears. And don't forget the bonus question at the end. Any Bible quotes will be from the NIV translation. Are you ready? Let's go. Question one. How many books are there in the Bible? Are there A, 44, B, 55, C, 66, or D, 77? The answer is 66. There are 66 books in the Bible with 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament. Question two. The Old Testament contains 39 books, but they're organized into five sections. Which of the following best describes the way that the Old Testament is organized? Is it A, the books of Moses, then history, poetry, major prophets and minor prophets at the end? Or is it B, books of Moses, then poetry, major prophets, minor prophets and history at the end? Or is it C, books of Moses, major prophets, minor prophets, history and poetry at the end? Or is it D, history to start, then minor prophets, major prophets, poetry, with the books of Moses at the end. The answer is A. The books of Moses at the beginning. These are the first five books and it's also called the Pentateuch. Then there's history, poetry, major prophets, and finally, the minor prophets. Question three, what is the second book of the Pentateuch? And remember, the Pentateuch refers to the first five books of the Bible. Would that be A, Genesis, B, Psalms, C, Exodus, or D, Proverbs. The answer is C, Exodus. Question four. In which book could you read about the story of Joseph and his colorful coat? Would that be in A, Genesis, B, Psalms, C, Exodus, or D, Proverbs? The answer is Genesis. This book contains the accounts from creation up until the time that Jacob, Joseph's father, and his family are in Egypt. Exodus, the next book, begins with the account of Moses taking the Israelites out of Egypt. Question five. Which book contains the longest chapter of the Bible? Is it A, Genesis, B, Psalms, C, Exodus, or D, Proverbs. The answer is Psalms. The longest chapter by both number of words and letters is Psalm 119. 
this psalm is an acrostic poem using the letters of the Hebrew alphabet and it's all about the importance of God's word. Question six. Where would you go in the Bible to find the most information about the life of Jesus? Would you go to A, Paul's letters, or B, the Gospels, or C, the major prophets, or D, the books of Moses? The answer is B, the Gospels. The New Testament begins with four Gospels, four accounts telling of the life of Jesus Christ. Question seven. Who wrote the most books in the New Testament? Would that be A, Matthew, B, Luke, C, Timothy, or D, Paul? The answer was Paul. 13 or 14 of the New Testament books have been attributed to Paul, depending on whether he wrote Hebrews. Question eight. How many books of the Bible did Timothy write? Did he A, write none of them, B, write one, C, write two, or D, write three? The answer is zero. There are books called 1 and 2 Timothy, but these were written by Paul to Timothy. Question 9. Which book of the Bible does not mention God directly? Is that A. Lamentations, B. Esther, C. Job, or D. Amos? The answer is Esther, but although God isn't mentioned by name, his fingerprints are all over the book. Question 10. What is the last book of the Bible? Is that A. Malachi, B. Revelation, C. Acts, or D. Proverbs? The answer is Revelation. The book of Revelation is a book of prophecy given to John about the events of the last days. Psalm 119, the longest chapter in the Bible, is all about the importance of God's word. Here's just one verse, verse 105. It reads, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Here's your bonus question. Has there been a time when you didn't know what to do and the Bible has helped you to make a decision? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. So how did you get on? Please let me know your score in the comments section. Thanks for playing along. And if you enjoyed this quiz, please like this video. If you'd like to know more about future Bible facts and quizzes, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Until next time, goodbye 
and God bless.